Biscuit Shower for Mr. Biscuits. Oh yes, Mr. Biscuit. Hello beautifuls, welcome back to my Chanel and welcome to another episode of Dr. 90210, the most bizarre reality TV nonsense plastic surgery show in which we follow Dr. Ray and his particularly unfriendly behavior towards his family. <gasps> oh, wow. scandalous. So my lovelies, this series is, pow we are powering through this series. What episode are we on today? We are on episode nine, which means we've only got three episodes of this season left. Can you believe it? We've seen so many things in this season already. We've seen nose jobs. We've seen uh, butt implants. Just in the last episode, we saw Michelle Visage. Do you want gay sh And we've even seen some pretty like unfavorable storylines in which Dr. Ray seems to treat his pregnant wife or just his wife in general as more of a commodity and a, what's the word I'm looking for here? Like he didn't, I, I get the feeling maybe he didn't really want a family growing up, but kind of feels like he's had to in order to achieve certain status within society and his profession. Is that tea? So one of the top comments on the last episode that we watched of Dr. 90210 is by Sida Stark. And they say, she said ever since she was a little girl, she's wanted to be like the Playboy models. I was horrified by that confusing moment. And let me tell you, this is something that I didn't really touch on on the last episode that we watched here on the Chanel My Lovelies. Patty said very briefly that she wanted to be a model specifically for Playboy ever since she was a child. The idea that children are looking through or did look through Playboy magazine and think I want to be like that is kind of jarring because I associate Playboy as adult content. And I don't think that if I had children, I would be allowing them to read magazines that are aimed towards a mature 18 plus audience, should we say. That's just me though, my loves, that's just me. I think I would like to try and instill the idea of if you want to be a Playboy model, sure, go ahead, do that, my lovelies, but make sure she's got a degree. Today we are watching episode nine of Dr. 90210, and this is titled South Central versus Beverly Hills Girl. And then after I finish filming this, Mr. Biscuits, we're gonna go for a walk, aren't we? Do you want a brow lift? No, thank you. Do you have anything to say? Little sniffs. All right, my lovelies, put your best swimming costume on, get your beverages at the ready, and we're off to Beverly Hills. We're going to the beach. We're going to get a brow lift, a boob lift, and a butt lift, and a BBL all at once. <laughs> and let's watch this episode of Dr. Nino Do One Out. I'm a professional woman. A woman's ankle and a fingernail. Give it a brow lift, girls. Oh my god, it's a BBL in the palm tree. Okay, Dr. Nine is one of Da 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 da, Beverly Hills girl. Da 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 da. Do you know what I will say? I love the music in this series that we watch. It's all very like bright and sparkly women, Louis Vuitton. <laughs> Completely deranged editing. Right, what are we gonna see today? Dr. Ray oh, girl! Awesome. Perfect. <gasps> Boobs. Hi, perfect. Oh. Are you we are. gonna see him be like, ah. awesome. Thank you. He's so invested in his lady patients. Perfect. Just turn the other way. Just like that. Silicone, silicone. Putting silicone in chicks all day long. Chicks. You know, when I go down in history, that's not what oh, that's not what I wanna be remembered for. Oh, is that a crack behind the mask, girls? So you could see here, look look at this here, look. He's like so happy with himself when he's silicone, talking about silicone. Silicone, silicone, putting silicone in chicks all day long. Look at this. You know, when I go down in history, that's not what- He's like, <laughs> silicone booby ladies. And then his like business brain clicks in and he's like, that's not actually what I want to be remembered for. I want to make a mark on this industry. He's like, smiley, smiley booby ladies on the game. And then immediately like, no, banking. That's not what, that's not what. I want to be remembered snatched. for. The That's emotion was snatched. I go down to Huntington Park, which is in South Central LA, Huntington. two days a month, to do some pro bono work. Pro bono? Uh, hello, hello. It, okay. Uh, pro bono? Pro bono? Is that the thing that you're like, I'll do this for you if you do this for me, girls. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Oh. Uh, 
don't say that on the Chanel. Cancelled! Hello, hello. Huntington okay. Park. Okay. He comes from a background where he did Maybe. see what poverty was. Right. Limitations. Right. And I think he wants to give back to the community. We went back to visit his old apartment and his old neighborhood in Brazil. He wanted to look around a lot. Yes. I just wanted to leave. I just said, this is a scary neighborhood. Right. Hola, como estas? Doctor Rey. A lot of people go to Tijuana, Mexico, because the surgeries are done so much cheaper over there. They don't know who they're going to. Yes. They're just looking at the price. Oh, goodness me. So this is something that we are still seeing in this day and age is that people really want to get a good deal on their plastic surgery. And this is why we see at the moment, we're seeing a lot of complications come from people who do medical tourism or cosmetic surgery tourism to Turkey. And the phenomenon known as turkey teeth, in which if you look through TikTok, I might make a video on this at some point in the future. Let me know in the comments if you would like me to, because I feel like it needs a deep dive own, like, self-contained thing. Because there is, like, a group of surgeons in Turkey that are just running with people's money. They are scamming them, giving them really bad plastic surgery work, especially when it comes to, like, those crowns. Are they crowns? They call them veneers, but they're technically crowns, where they grind down the teeth and put fake ones over the top. And it just leads to so many complications. It's just not worth it. And we see it all the time. And we also see it with complications of BBL surgeries as well. So shocking to know that it's alive and well in this day and age. But maybe the destination is not quite so much Mexico now and more like Turkey. Although this is a USA based TV show. So maybe it's still the same case there. You'll have to let me know in the comments, my loves. Good work isn't cheap and cheap work's never good, girls. Praise Satan. I don't know who they're going to. They're just looking at the price. Yes. And we have seen this disasters yes. where they have left yeah. them scarred okay. their this is the reality this is it this is a botch job and this is so sad to see because someone clearly really wanted the work done but only had means to get a certain amount of work done it's so sad to see things like this because the irony is it the is irony the word i'm looking for I'm going to say this phrase, the irony isn't lost on me that someone wants work so much that they're going to pay for bad work is irony the word? I don't think it is, is it? No. I'm going to say desperate. Is desperation the word? People can be in such a negative place in their mind and in their life where they are desperate to have this work done. And there is just a cheap surgeon out there waiting to snatch the money out of it. They might not even be a surgeon. They might not. I've seen horrendous horrendous things he will do the surgery free without a doubt and he has changed a lot of women <sighs> that feel so much better about themselves okay he loves it He'll so are we seeing a nice philanthropic moment here of dr ray in which he is providing plastic surgeries to technically reconstruct or revise previous cosmetic work done on a patient to create a better outcome that's happier for everyone are we watching that? Is that what we're watching? Is this what today is today's episode, the redeeming feature of Dr. Ray? Am I going to be like, amazing? Two wrongs don't make a right, though, girls. They make a square. Oh, wow. scandalous. Okay, no matter how busy my schedule is, you fit the patient in. Okay. I like charity work. Most of the cosmetic surgeons that I know will do that work in some form. Yes. I do a lot of pro bono work. Uh, people who, who I feel are deserving to yeah. have plastic surgery. Recently, a woman uh, named Maria came into the clinic okay. and uh, she's deserving to have plastic surgery. Deserving. Hmm. She developed four breasts. We can four develop breasts. multiple breasts anywhere on the mi on the milk line, starting at the armpit, the all the way down line. to the groin. Maria suffers from that condition. She had four breasts? Wow. See, this is what I absolutely love about watching some of these older shows, is that I learn something every single time we watch something, either if it's about the culture surrounding the time, or if it's about the fact that TV producers are somewhat just inherently evil, it would seem, from this day and age. Fascinating to know that you can develop extra pairs of breasts I did not know this. Did anyone else here in the audience know this? I'm ge I'm genuinely quite surprised to learn that. So he's going to provide her a surgery that enables the reduction of those, I'm guessing. Is that what we're watching? Right, let's see. My name is Maria. I work here at this car wash and I live in Los Angeles. Oh. I've lived with four breasts for 10 years. 10 years. It has traumatized me greatly. Two extra breasts removed. There are many clothes I'm unable to wear. And usually I don't wear a bra because it hurts too much. I saw ads How for Dr. Ray's surgeries on many occasions. 
Eventually I called, but his assistant told me it was going to be $8,000. Obviously, I don't have that kind of money. $8,000? Clean bathrooms. That's how I got through medical school. Huh. My mom was a janitor. So, in some ways, they're my people. It's my chance to give back. His assistant sure. told me to come back the following week because Dr. Ray was going to be there. Okay. So I came back and Dr. Ray told me he would find a way to do the surgery for free. Oh, okay. This does great. I, I understand that, like, he's providing a really valuable service to this woman. But I also feel like what great optics is it as a plastic surgeon to be able to donate your expertise, your time, your technically your money and your costs for how much it costs to run a service. In the last episode, we saw uh, Patty delay the surgery by 90 minutes and Dr. Ray was like, no, 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 500 and blah, blah, dollars. But it still went ahead. I feel like this is giving him great optics as a surgeon. I feel like that's also a really good cause as well to actually try and improve someone's life. So I understand, but it also is very good optics, isn't it, on a TV show to include this. Oh, it's like looking through a time capsule. The surgery. Oh, Nike. Maria, Maria, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Bien, bien, bien. Muy bueno. Nos vemos de nuevo, ¿ok? Párate aquí, por favor. Move here. Este right. Multiple breasts occur at birth. They develop during puberty or they can develop after hormonal flexes. In Maria's case, she had a child, the hormones went high, the breast developed. Vamos a cortar esta piel extra. Y vamos a empujar. So... I don't know how much I'm going to be able to show you here on YouTube, but it's kind of like, if you imagine an extra breast has kind of grown here. So she has a full breast and then has like an extra like tissue, extra tissue, like across here that has its own little like cleavage. I guess you could use the word cleavage. So she's got one, two, one, two. Fascinating. Isn't the human body just bizarre? Y vamos a empujar. Like a cicatriz aquí más alto. So it's kind of like a mastectomy. Bueno, the one thing you mentioned before is that your breasts are a little bit fallen. We're here anyhow to fix these guys. If you want, we can also make these, restore these to what they look like when you were young. Oh, so we're here to take these a guys breast off. lift. If you want, we can also, as you voiced before, we can also lift these guys a little bit and rejuvenate them a little bit. See, it, it's comfortable. It's not, no, it's not fun. It's not uh, fun. So we can make it better. Do you, does she want that, though? The last thing we do, sweetie, we choose an implant side. Oh, right. Okay. So he's going to give her she implants as well. Feet, but, uh, small yeah, feet. see. I was thinking 425. No fumar. Wait, what? See, but uh, the small Yeah, feet. see. I was thinking 425. 425. So this lady is getting an implant that's about 50 cc's of silicone bigger than mine are. So she's getting a 425. I had a 375 and I had quite an improvement in size so I wonder how this is I just wonder what I can't wait to see how this turns out I love 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 understanding why people choose the sizes they go for because I feel like it's really telling of lots of other things in life so for me when I chose my size I didn't I kind of wanted like a bit of like a nicer rounder chest to fit with my shoulders and also my lifestyle but I can also totally see how some people could just be like big titty lady slap bimbo videos on the internet Massive two gallon titties. Oh, that's nice. Like, I can totally see the allure, <laughs> even though the look isn't for me. So, Dr. Ray, though, as we've noticed throughout previous episodes, has always tried to encourage bigger. I wonder if he's doing this with the idea of being like, you're going to be a big booby lady on the internet, big bosoms. Oh, yes. No fumar. So my biggest concern with Maria is no that she's vitamins. a big smoker. A smoker. Uh, no and uh, if she quits now, she should be a good candidate for surgery. But if she doesn't quit, uh, she's gonna have some problems. Uh. This is a dream come true for her. And we haven't even started. She's already triggered up the nose from last week. I do often wonder about this. I've never been a smoker and I'm not, I don't even drink. I haven't had a drink n for nearly a year at this point. Oh my God, can you imagine? If you do smoke or drink, and you want to get cosmetic surgery or plastic surgery of any sort, you absolutely have to like stop, don't you? You have to stop for the recovery and also stop for certain amount of weeks before surgery. Am I right in saying that? It's never been applicable to me, so I don't know. That in itself is like a little bit of a task. So not only, let's just say you've, you've been a smoker for 10 years and you also now get the opportunity to have 
a, a plastic surgery that's going to improve your quality of life, you're not only are you going to have like a big surgical changing lifestyle moment, you're also going to have like an actual lifestyle adjustment by essentially quitting, a, uh, quitting a habit. I've never thought about that before. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. uh, just since we talked mm -hmm. about it, mm -hmm. her whole Give persona has happen. changed. Pre-op went very, very well. I haven't even touched her yet. Pre-op transsexual! Oh my Michelle. <laughs> Concept is already better. It's amazing what plastic surgery can do. It is right amazing. Hand. Plastic surgery is a wild branch of like magical art science. Oh. Is that her home? You know, as an immigrant, you always feel like you're looking from outside in. You're never and then we immediately see Dr. Ray's house, so a mansion. The things that remind us that, hey, maybe we finally arrived. This is just for the special occasion. What's this? Is this a memory box? When I had to pull out the big guns, you know what I'm saying? Rolex? Yeah. For why? Hmm? Is it hmm? real, Gail? Because that's the big gun right there. Okay, let's go, you guys. For what? For what? For whom? For when? Oh, we're gonna put it in the fountain. What is this song? Bibbidi bobbidi bobbidi bibbidi boo. Rolex. And all the girls here are all gonna pitch in. A baby shower. Oh, time to shower the baby. It's gonna be a surprise. Mm -hmm. I was thinking. I don't think that we have. Do we have baby showers in the UK? I've never been invited to a baby shower, and I know people that have had babies. Should I have a baby shower for biscuit? Little biscuit shower for Mr. Biscuits. Oh, yes, Mr. Biscuits. Thinking of maybe telling her that we all wanted to meet with her and take her to lunch. That's a good idea. I want to talk to her dog. about some things. And if she can have Robert watch Sydney for a couple okay. of hours. So I'm thinking like lunchtime, 12 to Does 5. Does he not have any men working for him? Does she register? Or? See, I just kind of have a feeling if I start bringing it up to her, she's going to think something. Yeah. She doesn't have any family here. So mm, that's true. She'll be like, well, why does everyone want to know if I'm registered and why or what or, you know? So I don't know. So is that the, the storyline of this episode is a baby shower? Time to shower your baby girls! I know two, one. Oh, she's in the palm tree girl. House of blues! Right. No, actually, I don't think. I'm just walking up the stairs the and I'm expecting a little... I met Cheryl Cole at a party at the W Hotel. What, is she called Cheryl Cole? Cheryl Tweedy? Cheryl Fernandez Vecini. Are you taking the pace? Cheryl? Cheryl. For the four of us. Ooh, bump it. And there we go. There was Ooh, funny people there. I was so shocked. <laughs> you guys are so nice. <laughs> like blonde middle-aged lady spawning over another blonde middle-aged lady <laughs> having a baby. It's my second child. I certainly didn't expect a baby shower. And, and it was nice that they threw a little something like that for me. It was very, very nice. They're true friends. They're not just, you know, office staff. Uh, I don't know, if your boss was having a baby shower and you were kind of invited, although they did say it was a surprise, I feel like organised work parties are always a bit like, No! <laughs> ah, ah, ah. I don't know, do you know what I mean? Like it still feels like business on, like we're still at work, do you know what I mean? It's like an extension of the work day. I'm like, well I can't really be 100% myself because I'm never 100% myself at work. Blah blah blah. Period, ah, period, uh. Happy baby Hayley. Baby Haley. Oh my goodness, that baby will be like 15 by now? 16 perhaps? Oh, time. We all gotta die of something. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of fake uh, laughter. Don't we already have a baby? <laughs> The gifts were incredible. I can't believe um, from such a, a small number of people that they got me so many. You know, I was raised in a very dysfunctional home, poor Brazilian neighborhood, and I don't want my kids to go through that. Oh, I know. No, I can understand that, but you need to still be there for your pair, for your children, and you haven't. Ah! Oh, there's the DIY furniture from last week. <gasps> what is that? Oh, what is this like comparison they're trying to do of like look at the wife and the husband of the doctors in this mansion look at this unfortunate lady in her caravan oh i really don't like that isn't that just the epitome of the system <laughs> Like, you see, Maria's home, 20 miles, 20 miles. How is she gonna get that far? 20 miles, that's so far. 
Today is wow. Maria's uh, big surgery. We're going to try to remove these extra breasts that she has. Right. And the existing breasts, the central breasts, we're going to lift them a little bit and just give them better shape with an implant. The central breasts? The existing central breasts? Right now, I can't breasts? believe that finally they're going to perform the operation. Okay. I am very nervous and very hungry. I'm <laughs> <crying. laughs> yes. I must actually admit, going in for surgery, one of the hardest parts is the fasting. I feel like when I wake up in the morning, I'm like, oh, I really just want a little bit of breath first, maybe a coffee, blah, blah. No, can't have any of that. Don't do that. No. Straight into surgery. Straight up the brow lift. <gasps> yeah. All right, here he is. Hello. Finalmente. The yeah, day yeah, is here, Finalmente. girl. Finalmente. ¿Cómo se sientes? How are you feeling? Nerviosa, ¿verdad? Nerviosa es común. It is Extra so strange to see him dressed like in normal black. Breasts, but they are breast tissue. They're functional and frequently very difficult to remove in surgery. We don't know how your, your scar is gonna heal. It could be bad or good, but we're gonna try to hide in your underarm. Hide I hope I can pick everything out. the underarm. You may not be able to. Okay, Maria, I hope you stop smoking like I asked. Very, very important. Okay, this one you sign good. The surgery is easy. The paperwork will kill you. Okay. Nos veremos, okay, sweetie? Okay. I see you, okay? I see you in here. Okay. Okay. Like okay. Maria, go. After the uh, operation, I want see, to See, this go again is kind of stepped into more reconstruction than cosmetic. A lot of the surgery, a lot of the episodes that we've watched in this season alone have appeared to also be basically like some level of reconstruction as well. The first episode we saw featured a patient who had four botched boob jobs by someone who wasn't even like a qualified doctor. So it was all just, that was just a messy situation. But Dr. Ray managed to give her an outcome that she was really pleased with. And I think throughout this series, we've seen other instances. They're immediately, I'm not immediately thinking of them because we've already done eight episodes. Can you believe it? Insanity, girls. She's an old lady. I mean, look at her. She's old so let's hope that maria's reconstruction goes well by pretty shirts and bras not orthopedic tight bras i'm going to be relieved to wear sexy bras sexy bra <laughs> it does feel nice to wear a nice bra makes you feel like oh yes it's small yes. oh it's small huh? uh, what's the last issue small it's two, three times, two, only two, three? No, no, no. <laughs> Smoking is bad before surgery because it's a, a compromise of safe anesthesia. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. She's very happy lady. Milk. Oh, yeah. Injects the milk. Yeah. Here we go, girls. Sí, gracias. Okay. How is this going to turn out? Okay. Okay. Siempre. Okay. Siempre. Okay. Oh, anesthetic. Quite frightening. Smoking makes the arteries constrict. Yes. So you cannot get the necessary oxygen levels to the healing tissue. Oh, is so that it's what just the a disaster is? if you smoke. Oh. She promised me she would not be around smokers or smoke. It's probably my major worry. So if can she it cheats, induce necrosis? She's cooked with a capital C. All the cuts will split open. May even have to take out the implant. <gasps> That's quite extreme. She's cooked. I'm not We're sure that Maria came. We have an opportunity to make her life a little bit better. We hope the operation goes well. She wakes up fast and enjoys her life from here on out. We say these things humbly in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay. A so to lift press. her, we have to remove a little bit of tissue. All right. Very well. All right. Here Let's we go. put this guy in. Is this the soldering iron? Oh, no. We're already on the implant. Yes, okay. Hand, filling her up. Silicone? As far Saline? as the count, Saline. be great. Saline? Saline. She's very cute. She's going to look adorable, really. OK, so that's better. Now Pizza. the breast implants are in, and I'm moving over to the extra breasts, and I'm going to remove them with Ooh. the electrocautery. Is this the first time that we've had, an like, an overlaid, like, a, like an eration section also? Interesting that he decided to do the main implants first and then remove the others. You'd think that he would have removed them and then, like, readjusted as and when they needed to be. I don't know. I'm not a surgeon. I don't know, girls. I don't know. The difficult thing about Maria's surgery is the area that I'm operating in has some of the most important nerves in the body. Yes. All the nerves to the hands, all Ooh. the nerves to the back travel through this area. Uh, a false move and her hand will stop working. Ooh. Oh, no. What is, what is that? I'm is that trying not to make the cut too big because that would just kind of, uh, you know, violate the whole purpose of doing this. 
Let's quickly close her. So all these ripples are gonna She's go away. She's been Robert Dyer. Be a nice, beautiful scar. It's gonna take months. But it's all going to be hidden. Oh, in her she's going to be sore. She's not going to be able to lift so up her arms beyond this. How is she going to work at the car wash? She's coming together. Look at the she's beautiful angle work. here. When that's all healed, she's going to be a hot mama. Wow. Okay, let's close this breast fast. Gosh, plastic very, very surgery. Difficult. Insane. Okay. Much more difficult than expected. That's all done. So Much it's equal. We took about the same. Wow. My biggest fear is that Maria has not stopped smoking. Uh, patients. Just to let you guys know, that was a lot of tissue that was removed. Much more than it looks like if you were just sort of like looking at her straight ahead in the pre-op consultation areas. She had like an amount, but what was actually laid out there on the table looked like so much more. Wow. Okay, right. Here we go, girls. Well, tell us one thing, but in fact... Yes, uh, don't lie to your doctors about smoking or drinking. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Is she waking up? What is happening? No, don't put a break there. What's that? What a horrible noise that was. A gurgly, gurgly woman. Okay, dear. She's here, that irritation in her lungs, and that comes from smoking. A very troublesome awakening. Coughing and hacking and dry, uh, dryness, so. Uh, so, has she lied yeah. about smoking? Okay, okay. I hate this oh, noise. Why do they keep playing this noise? <laughs> Oh, he's like annoyed. There are times he's like, How dare you? When it's really tense. And then it becomes dead quiet. Where I'm, I'm not thinking surprised. very hard, where every move is extremely important. And then it becomes very quiet. The doctor has to be able to absorb the stress. Wow. Because it's not healthy yeah, for the rest stressful. of the staff in the operating room to become anxious. Goodness me. And the throat is very sensitive. Yeah. <sighs> Okay, she's all right. She's just a bit grumble bums. Don't lie to your doctors about smoking or drinking. I think we shall take that away from this section, shall we? That was quite harrowing. That was a little bit like some of the games we've played on Twitch there. The level of tension and suspense. Ooh. Oh. Of course, if something really bad would have happened, it would never have aired, would it? So there we go. I told her a month ago. Stopped, no, she yeah, she one month. <laughs> You can tell he's annoyed. You're doing good, you're doing good. I feel like a lot of people might not necessarily understand the gravity of the situation. I feel like in certain lifestyles, it's very much like, oh yeah, people just smoke or they just drink. Like that's just normal. And when you say to someone, no, you have to stop doing that. I feel like sometimes it's quite jarring or they don't necessarily understand that they have to. It's not like you probably should maybe just a little bit, you know, think about possibly like, no, it has to be done because otherwise complications will happen. So all those things he said earlier about like, wounds not healing properly, implants might have to be removed. Does that mean that she has to come in for a second surgery now to get everything removed and, and fixed because she hasn't stopped smoking? You did good, sweetie, okay? It's all finished, finished. Not fun, I mean, I don't still... like that, no. I've been practiced 25 years, so I see every kind of problem. Okay. So when I see those kind of problems, I know how to deal with it. Oh, We're good. All yes, experience. For just about any emergency that could possibly happen. Dr. Elbow. We take courses on it. We study it, and uh, we react if it, if indeed it happens, mm -hmm. and it does happen. That's about being professional and an expert in your field, isn't it? Is she recovering? Thing. In Beverly Hills, we Beverly sometimes Hall. don't send patients to hospitals to recover. We send them to recovery centers. Yes. The wonderful thing about recovery centers is they get the five-star treatment. It's like a hotel okay. for hospitals. Okay. I'm Pamela, and I'm from Privé Recovery Retreat. Hello, and I'm family. Here to pick up Maria, and I have an aftercare facility in uh, Beverly Hills, Beverly and Hall. we're going to uh, take care of her in a medical way and also an emotional way. Once okay. you see how beautiful you look, that's when it all oh, comes together and so starts making sense. Yeah, you say, "Wow, fun. look at me! I'm hot." <laughs> <laughs> This is a very realistic look at recovery. I couldn't breathe, and the pain was very strong. 
Always remember that you will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> this is her uh, card of permission. Oh, okay. Pain 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 right. Very good. Okay. Yeah, look at you. You have a, you have a breast implant credit card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she does not care. She is like, please stop joking. I have no interest. <laughs> You that is kind of true. So when you get breast implants, I don't know anyone here in the audience who's had them. Let me know what yours says. So I've got like two little stickers that are like this boob is this one and this boob is this one. And it, on it, it just kind of basically says the implant, the manufacturer all day, a serial number and like vague information about it. But it literally is like a credit card size. It's kind of cute. Um, <laughs> all right, be strong. Okay. okay. Here we go. After surgery, everyone wants to be pampered, no and everyone down. wants to feel like a princess and a queen. And uh, the jaguar is even the boys. <laughs> oh, picked up by a jaguar. Very nice. Let's see. We're gonna go past the luxury shops. Like Louis Vuitton, Dior, Gucci, Nip Tuck. Oh, do you remember when that was around? When that was happening? That's very appropriate for looking at this show. Imagine getting she's her to climb get upstairs. Hey, Paul. But she's also going to get pain pills, antibiotic, water, fluid intake. Oh. Uh, her vital signs jelly. will be monitored be jelly every jam, hour. Poor thing. This is the most accurate look at recovery we've seen in this show so far, though. Buttocks! That statue. Is that statue still there? Where is that statue? Has anyone seen this statue? Comment down below. Uh. <laughs> Bedford. In Beverly Hills. Here we are. Is this afterwards, the day after yeah. surgery, is he going to be like, "How dare you!" Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> oh, drains, sore skin. She's like, pose for my space. Oh my goodness, they're quite voluptuous. Oh, she's happy. Oh, I could not go through recovery with a manicure on. Braver than I. Oh. This is a bit intimate to be watching. No more extra breast here. No more extra gone. boobies. No, gone. No more. No more. Oh. All right, this is the last bit. Doctor Nilo two one oh, we put her breasts in the tree. One month Let's after surgery. Okay, here we go. Her. Doctor Ray she's doing. in a suit. Today I had a chance Feet. to see Maria. She came for her one month follow up. Yes. Uh, which is a routine. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Está yes. muy bien. It's very nice. And look how well she healed. A little bit, a few little scabs here, here and there. Not bad. Oh, scabs. I thought you said penis caps. I was like, what? Look how much better she looks. Oh, uh, into the blue room. But she's always been a happy, happy woman. So oh, uh, happy. now it's going to be a little bit happier. Oh. I'm very happy. Right. Oh. Let's look at the before and after. Okay. This is the most accurate before and after we've seen. So on this show, usually we see a before and after that's like, the before is very like pre-op consultation, very clinical, and then the after is like posing on a beach or something. So it's nice here to see like before, after. Let me just tell you, this looks great. You can really see a reduction in the extra breast tissue that she had on the outside of her how did he say it earlier? He was like, the central breasts. You can really see a reduction. The breast volume is very voluminous and uplifted and much more rounder than before. So, job well done, I think, perhaps. Hooray! Everyone's a winner! What could have been a disaster because of the smoking Yes. Uh, turned out to be just a wonderful outcome. Okay. It's nice to do something uh, pro bono or something for so free. Did she stop smoking? It makes it all worthwhile. Mucho, mucho, mucho. Lo tamaño una manzana. Okay, so, four hours. No fumar, no smoking for me, okay? No smoking. Great, 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 great. I'm very happy. I can move my arms without any pain. Oh, good. I can wear regular bras. I could not do that. A month after surgery, I could not be like, ta-da! So I'm really surprised that she's able to do all that. That's incredible. Everything is fine now. I think my husband is really happy. Okay, good. <laughs> I play oh, the game nice here, you guys, but, right. um, and I fight the battle here. What battle? But Sunday... <laughs> I'm going back to my people. He wants to return to Brazil? <laughs> One day he wants to return to Brazil? What was that? 
Who's that next, next Dr. Wait, no, 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 no. no. Stop doing all that immediately. Wait. What was this? I play the game here, you guys. I play the but, game here. Um, and I fight the battle here. And I fight the battle here. But someday... But someday... <laughs> I'm going back to my people. He wants to return home. Okay. Interesting. So... I guess what we can kind of extrapolate from that sentence is he's moved to Beverly Hills. He wants to have a really successful career, make his money, make his name known, and then return to where he's from. I feel like that's quite commendable, actually. Oh God, have we dare say, have we humanized this specific section of Dr. Ray here in this specific episode? Doesn't really excuse how he's behaved previously to his wife and other patients being like, oh, you're my favorite. Anyway, my loves, I've got some thoughts. So, my lovelies, I think what we've seen today is a very strange episode. There are multiple different things that we can extrapolate from it. First of all, if your doctor tells you not to smoke or drink before surgery, don't smoke or drink before surgery. There is also, like, don't do any narcotics before surgery if you're going to go under anesthetic because they also will interfere with anesthesia. I don't know if I'm going to be overstating the mark here, but I kind of got a little bit of a vibe of like, he tried to instill how important it was to her that she didn't smoke, but she kind of maybe was a bit like, oh, it doesn't matter, just a little bit, you know, it doesn't matter, just a little bit won't hurt, will it? Do you know what I mean? I kind of got that vibe a little bit. Thank goodness her healing went really well, although we didn't see like how she was six months down the line, a year down the line. We saw her one month after post-op. It's a shame really, because I would love to see her like a, where are they now? Where are these patients now? But because these people aren't, like the show is not necessarily about the patients, I feel like it's going to be exceptionally difficult for me to find any sort of like information on them after the show. If any of the patients who've been on this show are watching this content right now, please sound off in the comments because I would love to talk to you about your experience with Dr. Ray and the Dr. Nano 210 show. So my lovelies, I feel like I've learned a little bit extra about anatomy here in this video on this Chanel on this day, my loves. You can grow extra breasts. Who knew? Who knew? And with that, my lovelies, it's time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my lovelies. Yes, you can. Is it time for your brow lift, Mr. Biscuits? Are you really tired? Every time you, you pester me to come and sit on my lap in these videos, and then you sit by my foot and you fall asleep, and then you do this. Look at this sausage dog. Look at this silly little sausage. Are you a silly sausage? Oh, you're really tired. <laughs> and today's Twitch shout out goes to Poppy Dezu. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. And if you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays, and I stream every Monday and Thursday, my loves. Oh, you're so tired, aren't you? Once again, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Laura Ali, Luke Peterson, Orcos Samoji, Amanda, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Danny Smith, Darina Pina, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Jennifer Herman, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Les Banana, Mazel Morel, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Nadia Hamdi, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Ryan Vita, Sexy Taxi RN, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, The Chaos Collective, Travelful, Tromo, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm going to leave it on the notes of try and listen to your doctor when they advise you something before surgery. In fact, don't try, just do. And with that, my loves, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, little biscuit.